Yeah. Two years ago, we decided to take a trip around the world, and originally we were just planning on doing a backpacking trip through Europe, but Shana found something on Facebook that was an ad for the Mongo Rally. And Mongo Rally is pretty much just a banger rally, which is taking a cheap little car to a long distance, which was from Prague to Ulan Ude, Russia. The Mongol Rally is a charity rally, and the charity that it primarily supports is Cool Earth. Cool Earth is a charity organization that supports rainforests around the world, primarily in the Amazon rainforest, where they give the acres of the rainforest back to the indigenous people so, and teach them how to support the rainforest. Hey, my name is Shana, and my primary role during the Mongol Rally was navigation and being Chase's support. Navigation is obviously used very loosely since my navigation skills are absolutely terrible. I thought it would get better during the rally, but it didn't. I think it's just something that's kind of built inside of me that doesn't want to learn that little piece of life. But um, we primarily used a compass, maps, and just Chase's general sense of direction to aid us in getting from one place to the next. My name is Chase and as captain I used my general sense of direction to drive us around through most of our destinations without any use of the GPS. We pretty much only used that for the finding the hostels and stuff whenever we were in the city because there's almost no way we'd be able to find anything. Without like city maps. Yeah. yeah. But that was kind of just a personal goal was to use the GPS not at all, but we kind of had to at some point. So it's kind of the same with the Google Translate. While it's a great program for most of the time, I tried to use it like as infrequently as possible just because it's more entertaining and more kind of character building to try to communicate with people without relying on the translator the entire time. Why we did it, is pretty much that's always been something I have wanted to do. I've always loved Top Gear and now the Grand Tour, but and ever since I was little, I wanted to be an explorer. That was just kind of like my dream job. The reason that I wanted to do it was just to get to know the world a little bit more and experience cultures. Um, we met a ton of new people, and you guys will see some of in some of our clips and pictures of the kind of characters that we um, came across. Anyways, I don't know. It was just a good decision for us during the time, and we're hoping to do something similar in the future, but maybe not the same. Well, obviously not the same. I think we could do it the same and still experience well, yeah. it completely different. I would like to slow down if we did it again. I feel like we've rushed through a lot of times whenever we didn't need to, or at one point we just spent five days just in a hostel watching a... Was it Mob? No, oh yes. No, one, one time uh, it was. It was uh, um, alchemy. The two brothers. <laughs> two brothers. Two brothers. <laughs> Full metal alchemy. Yes, yeah. I said alchemy, damn. I know. Anyways, okay. that was a tangent, but yes, we spent a lot of time. I want to obscure what happened for the most part. I mean, some people that watch the actual streams already know. But we changed plans quite often because we're those kind of people, I guess. Our original path was kind of just taking from the UK through France and then like this northern route going through Belgium and Netherlands and Germany and then getting into Czechia so we could get through to the rally start in Prague. And then after that, go down through the Balkans and into Greece and go through Turkey up take a ferry from Baku to Kazakhstan, I can't remember the city name off the top of my head, and then go through Kazakhstan, pretty much the entire width of Kazakhstan, to hop through Russia for a very short bit, and then into Mongolia, and then go up to Mongolia, through Mongolia to Ulan Ude, which was the finish. And we were going to just ship our car, we had the option to ship our car, and so we were just going to ship the car back and then fly home from there. But 
Other than that, I'm just going to let you watch and find out what else happens from there. It changed a lot. A lot. But how we got the car, we ended up, we ended up getting a Volkswagen 2001 Polo. And we called it Q based on a... We streamed the whole thing, so we based it on a high donator's wish of the name. I don't know, it was Quantum Laser... Vacuum. Something. Something. It was a very know. long name, so we sure to handed her name to Q, which was a cute little name for her because she was so small and cute. But... She got real stinky, though. <laughs> I'm real stinky. Keeping dirty laundry in a car for X amount of days in the sun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not means for a smelly good car. Hey, we, it didn't smell that bad actually after we got the clothes out. I, we, we put a lid on our stinky clothes though, so whenever yeah. you open the lid, you got smacked with a walk and get It was more my shoes, I think, that were smelling out of everything else. But. <laughs> Anyways, we got the car by use of another streamer on Twitch that was Ricer Man. Awesome dude, he took care of us, filled us up with a little bit of gas. Actually, full tank, wasn't it? It was a full tank of gas and groceries. In the UK. He bought us emergency supplies, which we ended up using pretty much all of. I will put a link for Ricer Man down in the description. So that everybody can go out and check him out and give him some love because he's an awesome dude. Yes. He owns a chippy shop. And I have to apologize now because the footage is not perfect one from the camera shaking video quality because all of it is going to be, almost all of it, is going to be from our stream, just the downloaded VODs. Some of it we weren't able to get because of technical difficulties and Others, we just didn't have service, so we didn't do anything. We ended up recording it occasionally, but it was deeper into the trip, and we just, we weren't originally planning on putting everything on YouTube, so that was the issue, but some people that watched were asking, so. And some of it was recorded while using a gimbal, some of it wasn't, so we've got some shaky footage, some relatively stable footage, um, but it just is going to have to vary and we wanted just to apologize in advance and hopefully our future videos outside of the rally are more stable and... Yeah, because I think we're going to want to continue making... and I want to make the recording a little bit of focus too so we can ensure better quality in the future. But yeah. In the meantime, if there's any moments where we just didn't have any footage at all, or we just have pictures. I'm gonna use some pictures and some B-roll that I find for the different areas, and just give you a little bit of a voiceover of what happened. I'll still occasionally throw a voiceover in the other videos just to tell you what happened in other spots, but. And also, there are, you will see that it does take a toll on people, if I want traveling full time. Both because you're spending time with each other 24-7 and two because it's kind of hard to find medical care in countries that don't speak English and also don't have the same systems you're used to. So occasionally you'll see one of one or the other of us being a moody person. <laughs> uh, being a moody person about how we feel. But yeah. I'm going to personally say I was not like, I didn't have my best face on the entire time we were doing it because with the live stream, you're literally, you're not able to edit things out. And we're going to edit them as much as we can for YouTube. But still, I I can say that I was not always 100%. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and give the long-awaited first video. And that'll be posted today as well. I feel like I'm doing a school presentation. I, I know. That's My sushi action's not the best. Or my uh, chopstick action. How many legs do butterflies have, Shane? Quick. Six? Yep. An insect. Oh no. I just dropped it in the soy sauce. Like full drop. 
Oh god, it's falling apart in the soy sauce. I guess I'm just fishing it out. That's nasty. Oh god, I feel better. I just had a big burp. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I'm a mess.